Hello, Dr. Sutter Caton here with Vive Health to talk to you about meniscus injuries. So the meniscus is the cartilage between the knee that's responsible for the shock absorption and also the lubrication of the joint and making sure that the, the bones of the femur, the upper leg, and the tibia of the lower leg can interact smoothly as the knee bends, straightens, and also the small amount of rotation in it. So a lot of times, Injuries can occur to the meniscus in a traumatic event, so during athletics or some sort of rapid cutting motion or twisting motion can cause a tear in the meniscus and the severity of this tear can either require surgery, in some cases it doesn't. And minor tears can be treated very well through conservative treatment, but if you have a severe tear and you have what we call catching or locking of the knee, where the por portion of that meniscus is getting caught in the knee joint itself, that's where you're gonna be looking at a surgical option to hopefully relieve those symptoms. It can also occur just as a natural process of aging. So over time, particularly the inner meniscus or the medial meniscus can get worn down just through wear and tear of everyday life. And once that meniscus starts to go, then you start developing osteoarthritis in the knee because you no longer have that layer of cartilage to protect the bone. In the early stages of a meniscus injury, it can be very helpful to provide compressive bandaging around the joint to help push some of the swelling out of there. You also may want to elevate the limb to also provide some alleviation of the swelling. Ice can be helpful to reduce pain but you also don't wanna to rest too much and start to allow those muscles and also the range of motion to start to reduce. So you want to be able to continue to move that limb and find exercises that you're able to perform pain-free and that'll speed up the healing process. Remember, if you believe you've suffered a meniscus injury, it's very important that you get evaluated in person through your physician, physical therapist, or other healthcare professionals. I hope today's lesson was purely educational for you.